All right, welcome to Turbo Bob's Bicycle Blog, and today we're checking out the Hidden Power E-Bike Conversion Kit. Fully installed, though, took an hour, hour and a quarter. Took a little time to get the uh, motor mounted on the seat post just in the right spot. So let's check it out. This is a lithium battery right here. And uh, this is it's got a set up here. You push a button, you can see uh, basically how much power is left. Charging on the other end. Mounts real easy Velcro. It's supposed to slide all the way back to the seat tube, but the motor interfered a little bit on this bike setup. So uh, this is the motor right here, a brushless motor. It drives through this other setup here, which could be a belt or a chain, onto the smooth rubber wheel. And this actually has a one-way clutch in it. You can see it actually working there. So uh, once it, when it kicks in, it normally doesn't ride on the tire. When it kicks in, it comes up here. Friction drive, and it's fairly quiet uh, compared to the ones I've tried before. Uh, down below it, this is the speed control, the ESC. And that all runs, it has a wire that comes up to our speed throttle. This is basically just a, a knob that turns. Really, it just goes to one level of assist on and off, and not as quite as powerful as I'd like. Now, it does have a PAS setup built in. It's actually this wire here that would normally go on the pedals, but it didn't seem to match up too well with this bike, so I let it be. So it's uh, just a uh, single speed, single power level, kicks in. Like I say, it just rides here. When it kicks in, it comes up, locks in place, runs the motor. Uh, you got a few adjustments here to get it to everything to work right and to get it on the seat post just the right size. And it, it does come with three different adapters for seat post sizes. So it's a hidden power out of Austria. And I'll do some riding this weekend and I'll show you how it actually works in action. Like I say, I, I was expecting a little more power. But that actually might relate to extra range too, so the fact it's not overpowered. Now they do recommend, this is a battery connection here, they recommend you unplug that when you're not using it. It's got uh, plus and minus signs in there and it shouldn't be a problem getting it in just right. So, more information coming up. I'll do a full review on my bike blog on what I found. And uh, this weekend I'll do a riding video and show it in action. Of course, it's working right now. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. That's the Hidden Power out of Austria. All rigged up, ready to ride. Lightweight, I believe less than five pounds, right around there. So that's one benefit, and it doesn't uh, slow the bike down. Like I say, you can see there's no gap here. There's a gap here, I should say, that's, uh, so it doesn't affect the bike uh, and then friction mode or anything. No drag at all. Okay, well more coming up on the Hidden Power e-bike conversion kit.